700 subscribers. Wow. You, you guys might be wondering why we're in the Hearthcraft world right now uh, for a building tutorial, and that's because for this 700 subscribers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've been a madman. I've gotten seven stacks of diamond ore, representing a hundred each for each of you guys. And today, we're gonna start off by mining each and every single one of you guys. I've been waiting for this for so long, and I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, yeah, so let's, let's do that. Let's mine these things real quick in a little time lapse. Oh, and if you want to see how many diamonds I actually got from that little time lapse, um, check out my Hearthcraft video this upcoming Friday to see. But I just want to say thank you guys again so much. Each one of those stacks represented 700 of you guys. 700 subscribers is absolutely insane. And because of that, we're actually building a new snowy cabin right here that I've designed. Um, I'm trying to think. It was Gaming Pocket. Gaming Pocket, I, huge shout out to you for recommending this idea. This is what he wanted to see. He commented down the live stream, which will also be live streaming this Saturday. So watch out for that too, me and Yo Carter. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna be building this cabin. I'm excited, I think it turned out pretty darn cool. I'll put the building materials for you in just a second. But one very last time, just thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers, one step closer to that 1,000, and it's awesome to see the audience grow. Anyways, here's the building materials, and let's get the video started. So starting off this tutorial, we're gonna start the exact way we usually do, which is putting a grid down. This grid's gonna be 13 by 12 long, 12 this way, 13 this way, and inside this chest, we got our first three materials, blackstone, polished basalt, and acacia log as well. If we go into this corner right here, we're actually gonna go ahead and start off by establishing the base of the build. We're gonna go one, two, three, four blocks out, then one, two up, and on the third block, we're gonna place our first blackstone. From there, we're gonna make a uh, five by seven I guess a rectangle. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're just gonna complete it right here. And that moment when, when you're trying to think of the word rectangle and you just can't think of it for some reason. <laughs> and anyways, we're gonna go ahead and stack this up to make it too tall, just like that. And then we're gonna get our acacia logs and we'll place all our acacia logs. You will be replacing some of these to texture it on up and everything. But we're gonna place down the acacia on top of the blackstone. And then I'm just gonna use my commands, my, my world edit, to make this three blocks tall. So now we should have a two block high, five by seven blackstone, and then a three block high acacia, five by seven. And from there, we can use the polished basalt to every once in a while, uh, periodically, just replace some of this acacia logs. And, and what this will do is add a bit of texture to it. This is actually very reminiscent of a build style that I've done before. I might put the links down in the tutorials if I remember, but um, there's a windmill and there's also a water mill in this built in this style of acacia and basalt and now you guys have a cabin as well you can eventually build a whole city out of those builds alone anyways let's move on to the next part which is i believe going to be the patio and the materials for the deck we're going to get cobblestone mossy cobble blackstone wall dark oak fence dark oak slab and dark oak trap door as well for the deck the first thing we might as well do is we're going to go one two three four blocks out and i'm actually going to go ahead and use my wand to make this a little bit faster we're just going to replace this with cobblestone which come to think of it i don't know if that was faster or not but once we get this four by five, or seven, excuse me, four by seven grid of cobblestone out, we're just gonna replace a few with some mossy cobble. Not too much, don't wanna go overkill on it. Once we've got that, we can get our blackstone walls and start placing these in. So we're gonna place a blackstone wall here, here, skip a block here, 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 here. And you'll notice we just skipped a block every single time. Now that we got that, we can actually put our patio in place, which is going to be our, our patio or deck. I don't know. It's more of a patio, which is going to be uh, the dark oak slabs on top of the support pillars of the blackstone right here. Nice. That's looking pretty darn good. Now we'll get our dark oak trap doors and we're just going to surround it on all three sides with dark oak trap doors so that this thing looks like uh, this, this uh, cabin, snowy cabin, looks like it has some railings. From there, We'll get our dark oak slabs, and on each corner post, we're going to place one down right there and make it a full block. Then we're going to get our dark oak fence, and we're going to do a two dark oak fence tall like so. And now we can actually add the roof to our patio. So if we place a slab right here and then go one block out, we're going to do this all the way across. So it's going to be a two by seven blocks right there. Then we'll go up one half slab, and on this part right here, we're actually going to do the same thing. So we'll go all the way across, and then we'll connect these right here. As you can see, we now have a patio, but to make it look a little bit more connected, we're gonna place one block there, one slab, and then one connector slab right there on that side as well. And as you can see, we have got the patio section. If you want to, you can actually go ahead and put the door in right now, which the door goes smack in the middle right there. So you can do that if you would like. And now to build some structures and supports to the roof and the actual house itself, we're gonna get white wool, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, dark oak slab, dark oak trapdoor, dark oak fence, and black stone wall as well. 
From there, we're gonna place one block here, skip a block, go up, skip a block, go up, and boom, we're gonna make basically just a triangle right there. And so that I don't have to, whoopsie, place as many blocks, I'm just gonna stack this, and I think this does save time, so I'm gonna be using the wand quite a bit. We'll stack this and make it go five over there, or excuse me, six. Now that we got that, we're gonna extend this roof one block over here. So we'll extend it one block off the side of each side of the roof, keeping it symmetrical. Do this twice. Once we have that done, we can actually go ahead and get our dark oak stairs. And on this bottom layer, we're gonna add stairs going all the way across. Over here, we'll do the same thing. We'll have the stairs going all the way across. Then on the top layer, we're actually gonna do the exact same thing. So as you can see, just got my stairs going all the way across right here. Got my stairs going all the way across. And then on the very top, we're gonna go place a block here and then skip every block, placing a block of dark oak as we go along. Then we can get our fence and put our fence up there on the end between. And to tip it off, I might as well, since we're up here, we'll put an upside down stair with a trap door like so, so that we get this nice cabin feel to it. Do the same thing on this side. And boom, right there. And that's kind of the roof done, but there's still a few things we have to do. We gotta get our dark oak slabs and we're gonna bring our dark oak slabs all the way across on this layer right here. And we'll do the same thing right on over here. The dark oak slabs go all the way across. And then we'll get our white wool. Our white wool is simply gonna fill in that four block space right there. So I think you'll have eight wool overall if I do the building materials correctly, but there we go. Put the eight wool in either spot. And with that now done, we can actually add some of the structural supports. So we're gonna place one black stone wall right here, one black stone wall on the underneath of the roof, and then we'll have some dark oak slabs going down the middle. So that looks like it's actually being supported the roof. And then we'll do the same thing on this side as well. One black stone wall, one black stone wall, dark oak fence going all the way down. I don't think we actually do it on either of these sides. We might do it right there, but I gotta check on that. Um, now that we got that, yeah, let's go ahead and texture up the roof a little bit. And the way we simply texture up the roof is by simply replacing some slabs, breaking some slabs, placing some trap doors, and, and that's basically it on, in all honesty. It's just kind of a little bit of randomness. It adds a little bit of a weathered look to the actual build itself. But by doing that, you can see already the roof looks a lot nicer. You know, just adding some slabs, breaking some stairs, replacing it like that. And it has a nice weathered look to the roof, makes the roof look a lot more detailed than it already is. Over here, we can add a few slabs, add a few trap doors. But yeah, yeah, so that's how you'll basically texture up the roof. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm not over explaining it like I often do in my tutorials. I like to over explain a lot. But once we got all that too, we can get our trap doors and we can actually get our trap doors and start going across right here. So you can see I'm placing it on this layer right below the white wall. Some trap doors we do want to have down, but not often. Over here, we'll do the same thing. And right here, we'll place actually a few more trap doors going down than we usually do like that, just for more of uh, detail to the roof. And then right here, we'll have the trap doors going down. And notice I also don't make these ones go down because that's actually where the roof um, line is gonna be. It would look weird if these ones were down because we're gonna put fence on top of that right there. And then we'll put the fence on the top on the other side as well. And once you got that, that is basically the roof pretty much done. I'll go ahead and do some more texturing by myself real quick, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, and the materials for the next one is gonna be polished black stone bricks, or polished black stone bricks, yeah. Dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, dark oak trapdoor, bricks, brick stairs, brick wall, spruce trapdoor, spruce door, and a campfire as well. First thing we're gonna do is simply texture this up a little bit. I did forget this in the very beginning by accident, whoopsie. But uh, we'll just replace some of the blackstone with some of the polished blackstone. And I'll go on the inside so that can become a little bit easier. We'll just place some bricks right there. Nice, so now that we got that, we can actually go ahead and get rid of that block and replace it with the campfire instead. And what we're gonna work on is the entrance to the house, the floor, and along with the fireplace out this side right here. And with the windows too, uh, why not? So basically, uh, to make the entrance, we're gonna place a stair here, stair there, and then we're gonna make a backwards L of dark oak planks underneath. We'll get our trap doors and to add a bit of a railing so that you don't feel like you're gonna fall off, I'll place two trap doors there, and then two trap doors right there as well. So that feels like you can actually walk up and it gets this more cabin feel to it too, that's where the door will go. It gets more of a cabin feel to it because I've never seen a cabin without a staircase leading up to its door. Now that we got that, let's go ahead and make the fireplace. So the fireplace, if we place a block here and here, that's where it's gonna take place, smack on the middle of the third block. And we're gonna go ahead and actually get a furnace out as well. So I did forget this material. I think the furnace is included in decorational material because it's not a hard thing to get. So we'll have that there. Nice, and on top of either of these brick blocks, we're gonna place two stairs and then a wall right there on top. Then we're gonna place a solid brick right there and we're actually gonna break that trap door. We're gonna place two brick walls right there, so that's the fireplace going up. Then we'll break this trapdoor and place a block of bricks and then two 
brick walls so that we get this chimney going all the way up. From there, we can put a campfire on top. And if we get our trap, uh, spruce trap doors now, this makes look, this looks for just a nice uh, chimney going around the top. It just makes for a nice little, little, little wall around the fireplace. But there you go. That's the fireplace and that done. But there, I did say we we're going to do a few other elements as well. We're going to pop in the windows. So I might as well actually go ahead and get some glass out as well. For this, we're going to be using white stained glass paint. We'll have one window right there. So we can place that right there. And then one window right there. There's a few more details we'll add to, but I think this is just the main structure I'm covering right now. Now that we've got that, we can actually go ahead and come up here and we're going to go ahead and place in the floors. The floor is just going to be spruce trap doors. Since it's a smaller house, I try to optimize it as much as possible by using spruce trap doors so that we can actually have a basement to this house. Yeah, this actually has a basement, this house, which is kind of insane. We'll also put the spruce trap doors, spruce trap doors, I said that really strangely, going across right here if I can place blocks down right there. And then we'll do this on either side as well because that's where we're gonna store some chests and stuff. So nice, we got that. And you can see it is on the same level as this acacia log right there. Then we can place our doors in also. And I think for the main structure of the house, actually, I mean, there's still leaves and stuff. We got add other decorations, of course, but for the main structure, that's done. And I'll just hop into my other world and show you guys what I did to finish it off. Yeah, I, I think that's actually the best way to go about this because this is the main structure of the entire build done i'm in shock too because that happened that went really really quick and here we are in my finished world um i'll have a world download link to this in the description so if you guys want to check this out get all the uh, exterior decorations perfectly perfect then you are more than welcome to but let me show you what i began to do i added a bunch of spruce leaves because spruce leaves always looks good and i'll actually replace that underneath there with snow to make it more of a snowy cabin. We got some barrels placed here and there, some spruce leaves, some buttons on the walls just for a bit more texture and whatnot. We got some green banners hanging down to add a bit more life because this is a very dark build, so we wanted to brighten it up a little bit. In the back, we just got more barrels, more swords for you guys, and more leaves. Lots and lots and lots of leaves. Underneath, if we go down right here, you can actually see we've got even more leaves down there to fill in kind of the patio area, and I think that fills that in very nicely. If you guys even wanted to, also, you could totally, totally, totally hide a secret chest down here. I was thinking about this earlier, but like you could just hide a chest right there and you could use these trap doors to crawl down. Good place, good way to hide your goodies, especially if you're doing this like in a multiplayer world. But now that we got that covered, that's uh, what we did on the exterior. We got some more lanterns taking up some green banners on this outside part right here. I actually took advantage of the fact that we were using lower half slab to make two of these dark oak chairs with the trap doors. Put some bushes and leaves with some trap doors on top. And then I used some spruce planks, I actually replaced this right down here with full spruce planks. And I put a cake on top for a little bit of a table, a little bit of an exterior decoration. I thought that looked really nice. From there, did I do anything else to the roof? I added some snow. I added some snow because that looked nice. And, you know, some lanterns and whatnot. But that's about it. For mob proofing, uh, definitely use string or something along those lines on all the blocks that um, mobs can spawn. You can see right here what I actually did. I just used snow and trapdoors so that they couldn't spawn. But make sure to mob proof your house as always. But then the interior, let's go ahead and move on to that. And then we'll just be done with this tutorial. All right. Woo. You guys know me. I love my small interiors. And in here, we managed to fit a lot of decorations. Over here, we got a bed in the corner with some spruce or dark oak signs. Spruce? Spruce signs on the side to complement that bed and make it look a little bit nicer. Got a cauldron, crafting table, some leaves. And then on the top, on top of these shelves, we actually have some chests so that you can actually have some storage space. And on the blank spaces, I put light gray carpet because that looks like dust. And I thought that looked cool. From there, we'll climb down this ladder into the basement, which I replaced the bank, uh, basement with a floor pallet of gravel and andesite. Then I put some furnaces and a lot of the workstations we need, black shulker box for more storage, but a grindstone and some stone cutters, anvil, that sort of thing. And uh, I just realized um, putting carpet down here is a bad idea. I thought that looked good for decoration sakes, but if you do that, then you can't walk around. So yeah, don't. It's a very, very tight uh, basement, but it's supposed to be a smaller house. I managed to try to just fit every bit of space I could into it. And then that's it. I believe that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked still. Um, this video is very very quick to record but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope that um i met your standards uh gaming pocket for this house because i i went all out i thought this turned out really good i was a little tired so i didn't build something as crazy as my last 600 subs 600 subs uh build tutorial but that's because of all the mining that i've been doing so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial we got this nice cabin nice snowy cabin and a nice snowy climate and with that said i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the next video which is gonna be a tutorial for my that level again coming out this wednesday watch out for it guys look at the trailer if you haven't already it's gonna be an insane puzzle game but 
I'll see you guys then. Enjoy life, enjoy Minecraft, and ciao!